I'm just going to cut. She wants short, so we're determining how much she wants. And I'm going to start from the side, cut a little, and then I'm going to ask her to see how much. Probably it's much shorter. Much shorter than yeah. this? Yeah, well, if you can get rid of the curl. The curl? Yeah. Cut where it starts to curl is better. Okay, yeah, that's good. this is the curl. That's perfect. Then I'm just in custom. So this is this length is good? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the length. Once you determine the length on the side, it's easier because I'm gonna go and do the perimeter. So I'll just go and cut around the perimeter. And then the bottom. So what I'm doing is following her hairline. Okay, I'll do the same on this side. I could cut on the top or on the bottom, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to see and check and feel. I could cut a little more. Then I could go down behind the ear. You can cut on the skin if you want. You just have to lift the scissors. Then I'll combine the back. She wants all the curl out, so. I always rough cut first and then customize it. So this little hair I'll cut later. And then we got those little hairs right there. Okay, we cut the perimeter and then this little baby hair we'll cut with the clippers later on. So we have to decide what she wants on the top. I'm just gonna cut a little bit, just hold it and ask my client, how much do you want? Like this is good? Um, a lot more than that. A lot more than that. Like this, I can maybe, cut. Yeah, maybe even more than that. A little more than that. Right. But see how I'm just little by little I'm cutting, so I would know exactly what she wants. Because for me, short is a different short than for her. So. Yeah? That's okay. Mm -hmm. So that's my guideline. And I'm going to bring everything to my guideline. But I'm also measuring with my hands. I follow my guideline, I measure, it's three fingers out, but I also follow my guideline. So this is my guide still. It's three fingers out of the scalp, so here, here it is. And three fingers straight out of the scalp. So, actually I have two different guides to follow, my fingers and that guide. Because it's 90 degree, my fingers on the head, see how the direction is changing? The direction of the hair is changing and my fingers tell me where the direction goes because my fingers are on her head. So this is how the direction changes. My fingers change. So I'm holding three fingers straight out of the head and cutting. But, but I'm not cutting the front because of this hairline part. So I will cut this forward. Three fingers and cut. It's very easy following the fingers. This bottom part I would do two fingers. It's very easy haircut following your fingers. Three fingers on the top, two fingers in the bottom, and then the front would go forward. So I'm just following the same thing going 
this much. And that's my guideline right there. So you cannot make a mistake. Going down, turn to two fingers and then cut. That will make sure it's short. Going up, combine the bottom and the top and cut the little triangle out. So this is the middle section. My hands are following her head. And I'll take this part too. And then the bottom is two fingers and cut. And then you combine the three fingers with two fingers, that and that. Here it is, this part and that part. Combine them together. Still going down, measuring my fingers. The bottom. But you can also do scissor over comb. Like for me, it's tough to put my hands in there. I can, I have my guideline right there. I can bring this down and I can cut scissor over comb. There's my guideline and I'm cutting. I could do an angle guideline again. There's my guideline right there. Once it disappears, I cut. I could do the same in here. So I got the whole thing. And then I'm going to measure, measure out. And then if anything is protruding, I would cut. So you would measure with the scissor over comb. See how I'm bending? I'm bending my comb. I'm not going to go like this. If I go like this, I'll cut too much. And this is as far as I go. This is where the hair is separating. This is where the head is turning from here to this point. So there's an angle here and there's an angle here. So when I'm cutting the bottom, my two finger part is that angle, is this angle right there. So that's my scissor over comb. And I move up and then I use my fingers to move up. I could do the entire thing with the scissor over comb. Like this, I could do farther, farther, farther. My fingers are my guide. Here's guide, another guide, another guide, another guide, another guide. So almost done with the bottom. So this part is left. I'm going to leave the hairline forward. So what I did is went from this around to the front. And cutting. Three fingers, guideline, three fingers straight out of the head. The bottom, of course, is two fingers. Here's my two fingers. There's my old guideline hiding there. And my new guideline, the bottom guideline. And there we go. Now once we're done with this, we're going to do the front, the receding hairline. Now that, we have to bring it forward. There's a reason that I did not cut this with this. If I did that, I would lose a lot of hair. But I need this hair to come forward. So I'm cutting because I'm bringing this receding hairline hair forward and this forward and then I would cut and I'll cut on her close to her brow area and if she wants shorter I will cut shorter too but now I'm just gonna go like this and this curls curves so it's better longer than very short and this hair I'm not gonna touch too much of that hair because I need this hair to cover here and here. This part, 
Do you like this part as, as long as this or you want shorter? Um, I'm going to leave it up to your expertise. Because your hair is uh, curly? Yes. And it's going to shrink. And if I cut this too short, it's going to shrink too short. Okay. Since the other side was much shorter, I'm going to cut a little bit more. Here's the guide. Here's the old guide and the new guide. So I just combine them together. And then you can bring it forward. If anything's protruding, you can cut. This part, I just cut very little. And then I'm going to check everything. When I check my haircut, I always check the top. I bring it down and I check if there's just any little thing from point A to point B, I cut. You want your haircut to go round this way and round that way. So I'm checking any little thing, I'm cutting. And then I will cross check too. So combine them together. The bottom part I just check with my comb and then I divide those parts and I have guideline all around so I keep checking bringing forward this is the front hair so point A point B and then I can cut divide it in half again check divide it in half because you just want to have a traveling guide go around and if there's any little part you just cut Go around again, go around again. This this part was from the front, so I'm just going to bring it to the front. Remember, you're leaving this front down. And if you want to combine this front with the back, you just bring the hair all the way back and there's very little to cut. Because over directing would make this part longer than that, but it's still balanced. And the bottom part I will just check with my Home. If there's anything protruding, I will do that. All I'm just looking is four straight lines. Four straight lines. Anything protruding, I will cut. And we'll check the other side. This is the front hair. And this part, there's a little part that I need to cut. And then it's always good to check diagonally, vertically, different different directions. And my two fingers, see, my two fingers out because it's around the hairline, and I'm checking. And she's done. Those are the peanut clippers. I like them because they're light, work good. You just cut down. You don't want to make a very strict line for a lady. I'm not making a men's line in there. Just cleaning whatever needs to be cleaned. If there's anything like this, Protruding, you could just lightly clean. And we're done. Mm -hmm. We did not style the haircut, it's just the way it is. How are you? Great.